Hi, Emma. Uh, so for those that don't know, tell them a little about the gloaming and a little about your character, Molly. Sure. So the gloaming's a story about two detectives who are bound by a tragic past to come back together after 20 years of not seeing each other um, to solve a murder, a horrific murder that's set in the world of the supernatural and the superstitious. And I play Molly McGee, who's a detective. Um, she's a lead character. She's um, a little bit crazy in a good way. She's a risk taker and she's um, she's kind of uh, impulsive and she's the kind of character that has to win at any cost. She has to figure out these murders. She throws everything she has into her job. Um, and, you know, because of this, she ends up risking her relationship with her daughter who means the absolute world to her. Yeah. And you said that you found the role challenging, which I can only imagine. It's such an emotionally heavy role. Um, so can you talk a little about how you portrayed her and how you went about crafting the character? Mm. Yeah, so it was really interesting because um, I, yeah, it's really, it's funny to explain. I found her very challenging to play, like very, I think it was a whole police procedural element with the whole kind of, um, you know, you've got this whole character story with Alex and Molly together, and then you've got the supernatural element, um, but then you're playing a very closed off character, but who's also the most sensitive character or person in the room. So it was a, kind of combining all of these. I mean, there were some days I went to set and I was like, ah, <laughs> am I doing this right? But you know, at the end of the day, it was really about just grounding it in reality as much as I could um, and just finding my own experiences where I had, um, you know, felt similar to Molly and kind of bringing that up and then just kind of throwing that into the, the scene. So it was, it was challenging. Yeah, it was definitely challenging, but it was beautiful to have those, those um, quiet moments with Molly, I think, where you really get to see what's going on for her because she is quite closed off because she has experienced um, so much abandonment really in the past and, and so much pain. She kind of puts up this kind of front, but really she's a fairly fragile character. Yeah. Are there character moments you're particularly proud of yourself for accomplishing? Um, I think that's, there's one scene where um, Molly's ex tells her um, you can't um, you can't see Lily anymore and he says you know I'm, I'm gonna take it to court basically and it's just this moment where her world shatters it's it's outside a, outside his his door and we had such little time to shoot that but it was like I had to really find this kind of moment where she breaks and you really see her crumbling because it's like someone taking the oxygen away from her and I really love that moment we shot it very quickly <laughs> it was like quick we've got to wrap up really soon just get in there and get the moment and sometimes you end up getting magic in those moments which is pretty cool yeah so I read that Vicky Madden, the showrunner, writer, creator, was constantly changing the scripts, keeping everyone on their toes. So now that the show is out there, um, what were some of those changes? Yeah, look, there was oh, there was quite a few changes. Um, we didn't have the whole storyline, which I'm an over preparer. So for me, it was like it was difficult, but it definitely kept us on our toes, but it brought up the challenge of, you know, there were certain moments where you were like, ah, oh, I really need to know what happens because I need that for my performance right now. But at the same time, um, it was kind of, kind of exciting as well. But there was, yeah, there was definitely changes, um, but I kind of appreciated the way she, she worked. And you know what, in America, that's how most shows go. You don't get the full, you don't get all the scripts. So um, yeah, there was another challenge, but it was kind of fun at the same time. Amazing. And so mm -hmm. I know you've watched the show a few times now. Are there certain yeah. moments that you really love as a viewer? Um, I think the dam sequence is pretty awesome and intense. And um, it's just such an epic place to be shooting, which, 
you know, all in all, when you look at the show in general, um, I think my favourite part of the whole show is the landscape in general because Tasmania is so extraordinarily beautiful. And, um, you know, there's been shows there that have been, that have been made there before and Vicky made the Kettering incident there, which is an extraordinary show, but I don't think it's Tasmania's ever been seen in this light, to be honest. So really I was just in awe of how it was shot in general, um, just these vast, huge shots of this, you know, epic land, which is Tasmania, which is very prehistoric and extraordinarily beautiful and rugged and just, yeah, it's kind of like no other place. And um, so I couldn't really yet yeah, pick a particular moment. I could just say that I just found the whole thing really beautiful visually to, to watch. And as you were saying, it's really its own character, the landscape, it lends itself mm -hmm. to everything going on on screen. So how did you feel shooting there? Look, I love Tasmania and it was a dream of mine to get there before, um, before I got the role. And so when I got booked on this job, I was like, yes, <laughs> I get to live there for five months but you know in saying that I when I got we got there it was kind of warmish and then it got cold and then I was like wow it is freezing here and you know there's a lot of kind of 3 30 a.m starts and long long days in cold cold places so we we're kind of up against the elements but I think that kind of adds to the story and and um the kind of visual aspect of what the gloaming is so you kind of put up with it um, but it was, it was amazing. I'm a nature girl. So it was an absolute dream for me to be there because it's so beautiful. And I'm, I'm hoping a lot of people will book tickets to Tasmania after, after seeing the show. Mm -hmm. Once everyone can travel again. <laughs> I know. Come on, be over pandemic. I know. I know. Hopefully right. soon enough, the world will kind of settle out again. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> so the show perfectly blends the police procedural with the supernatural, as you were saying. Mm -hmm. And I read that you said that you've had some experiences with spirits before. Can you talk a little about that? Yeah, I have. I have. Um, I've had a. I've had a lot of experiences actually oh. with spirits. I grew up in a house that was built in the 1920s, and my whole family had experiences in that house. Um, more so when I was younger, but then I was modeling in Japan um, when I was <clears throat> 15, I think was the first time I went there. And I think I had, I had a house when I was about 18 there or 19. And um, things would move all the time in front of me. I had, I woke up with strange bruises on me. And I, I mean, I had no boyfriend. I had, I, I was like, what the, I had people come to my house and, and I eventually, I ended up having this, this beautiful boyfriend there and he walked into the house once he was like, what is in here? I was like, I don't know, but there's something in here. And um, it was really interesting before it got a bit scary. It was, um, I could feel it kind of standing there and it, it never bothered me, but then one day it just got it just got super spooky, and it wasn't just me. It was the, all the models that lived in this particular apartment because apparently in Japan, if some place is haunted, they'll often just leave it alone. You know, tenants will go there, they'll um, either find this out or they'll look into it before they go to rent it. And so these places are basically abandoned, and um, a lot of companies or agencies get them really cheap, and. Um, it's an actual thing you can Google. It's quite interesting. So I think we ended up with one of the apartments that no one would go near. And um, yeah, it was quite, it was quite freaky. And that's one of many experiences I've had, but that's why I'm so intrigued by it. It really, um, it's something that, it, yeah, intrigues me a lot. I watch ghost hunters to go to sleep on. My husband thinks I'm absolutely crazy. He's like, why? I'm like, it's just interesting. <laughs> I find it really interesting so yeah again dream job for me because I got to I love crime I love true crime so it was kind of combining all of those elements in Tasmania and playing such an interesting rich kind of multifaceted character on top of all the rest of it it was um, definitely a dream job and dream role for me. So does anything scare you? Um Look, I don't particularly like the thought of uh, 
really evil spirits that scares me a little because I am very open to that and energies um but to be honest it's not anything I think about um yeah I don't I don't like the the thought of someone uh breaking into my house that's a bit freaky um besides that not really I'm pretty uh I'm pretty cool with most things hmm. so going back to the show let's talk about your co-star Ewan what was it like mm -hmm. working with him Ewan's fantastic. Um, we're, we're dear, dear friends. We got along so well and we've worked together before. We actually did, <laughs> we were both in these two uh, Perth shows, because we're both from Western Australia in these Perth shows um, when we were 12 and 13, which is really funny. So we go way, way, way back. Um, and he's just gorgeous. He's a beautiful soul. He's incredibly talented. We had great chemistry and that's something you always want to be able to really connect with someone on screen. Um, you know, and a, a lot of that goes back to just getting along with the person and then being, a, a you know, a really cool, nice person, which he is, because it doesn't always um, work out that way with actors. It can be, you know, a little difficult depending on who you get, but um, he's just wonderful and, um, yeah i i love him and i think he brings so much to the character of alex so i felt very fortunate when i knew um i was going to be spending five months with him because that's the other thing it's like i'm going to be spending a lot of time with um you know the other lead and so you always pray that they're going to be awesome and you and his right so i know they're working now on season two is that correct um yeah i can't say too much fingers crossed um yeah it's all going ahead we'll we'll see i can't confirm or deny but uh it's looking it's looking promising so what are your hopes for molly moving forward well i've been i've got a little taste of what could be coming for season two <laughs> and it's it's creepy that's all i can say and all i know is that i will be challenged once again as molly um but in a good way and um vicky being the genius that she is you know she's such an incredible writer and person but i know that she'll probably take it a lot further this time um and so it, I put it this way, I'm going to be challenged again, and it's going to be very awesomely creepy cool. And that's all I can hope for. Just keep me on my toes. So I'm not bored. That's the only thing I don't want to be in that board <clears throat> in my job. So it should be cool. And finally, what have you been watching lately? So the last besides Ghost Hunters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the last uh show that i watched was behind her eyes yeah um i loved it i loved it i thought it was incredibly intelligent writing and um i love the spiritual aspect of it um you know it's basically like the ghosts leaving the bodies i'm sorry that's my little dog jumping up quiet uh yeah she's little um yeah so that was great i really that's the last show that i really really enjoyed did not expect the ending and was like no. wow wow i don't know if i love it or hate it either way it's brilliant i was like this is genius so yeah right. mm -hmm. <laughs> well thank you so so much for your time i can't wait to watch more episodes i can't wait to Pleasure, see you on screen thank you yeah thank you so much have a great Lovely day you. you too you bye too.